SSV 1846 manager who tried to stop him from honoring one of those calls uh, to come play for Nigeria. What a patriot. Um, but we're happy that it's not all gone down to waste. Based on what uh, we just uh, heard from the Honorable uh, from uh, Kogi State, and of course, what the Nigerian Football Federation are also planning to do. But let's say something very quickly, Coyote. Going down memory lane, on that day, it was a very black day for Nigerian football. Day. The angel of death was hovering around the national stadium, and we fell for yeah, the tricks of the devil. It was very hot. Very hot. Very, very hot. We overfilled the stadium. Exactly. With about, with about, about 20,000 fans. Everybody was just coming in, much like what happened uh, so many times in the past, like the Bedell insurance thing. And the, it was bad. And when the result was not going our way... Look at these pictures. Look at these pictures, Kayode. Exactly. Pictures of fans. About, yes. about yes. five, six fans. And they were laying them down. Yeah. They were trying to bring the ambulance in, I remember. The ambulances were just coming in and out of the stadium that day, exactly. taking people away. It was overcrowded. Taking people there, away. There was confusion. Mm. Don't forget. This and is, some couldn't make it. Some, um, yeah. I mean, some passed yeah, out. Yeah, we remember that there was, one was named. One day. Yeah, yeah, we will talk about the identity <laughs> because yesterday on this show, maybe we'll talk about that before I come back to you. Yesterday on the show, we said that there is something we need to start to do in this country. You just hear stories. 40 killed in bomb yeah. blast or... 10 die in a road accident, you do not even get the identity of some of those people sometimes. And things need to change. Till tomorrow in Liverpool, those who died in all those different see, tragedies are remembered, their names are written out clearly. People know them because they are natural persons. Exactly. They, are not, they are not spirit. They, they are not, celebrate it every year. And they celebrate it every year. Mm -hmm. So we tried, I mean, with the help of Kao Tijani and Kunle Sholaja, we must give him a lot of respect, try to find out who were some of those fans that passed on that people do not even talk about? August 12th, all we talk about is Samuel Okwaraji. We don't remember that some fans also died right there inside the National Stadium in Abuja uh, during that game. So we've put this together. Uh, of course, uh, 26 years after, we remember, Samuel, we remember Samuel Okwaraji. But we need to tell you that three fans were identified. Niyi, Moshuru, I mean... Moshuro, it uh, looks Moshuru. like an Ogun State. Moshuro. Mm. Shewu Tijani, Okorie Agu. Those are the three we identified. And at least two other fans also lost their lives on August 12, 1989. The sad story for Niyi was that that was the first time he was coming to oh, watch a live game. game he was a student from Ijebu, about 15 about years. About now, he should be in his 40, 41. Yeah, but he passed on. Uh, we don't yeah. talk about those people. May their souls, May their souls rest in peace. Mm. Um, what, what a sad day it was. But very, very sad. We, 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 once again, thanks to Kaori Tijani, the sports historian, Kule Sholaja, they got out the identity of three of those fans. And I think we should also start to think about people like this. Exactly, we should. I mean, because you see, with this, their families will be as happy as Okaraji's family. Mm. For the f they can't believe this. They will not believe this. Don't forget again, like I was telling you, fundamentally for all this trouble, all the problems that happened on that day, was the tension of the game. We've, we've never qualified for the World Cup. We've always felt that the last hurdle and everything, they would needed to. And at the end of the day, Angola was a very tough... It was a tough game. So everybody we was lost like, the penalty. They lost the penalty. It was a Don't very forget, difficult I mean, game. Stephen Kessie scored the only goal. Jesse number six. Have we retired Jesse number really six? Is not his, his, Jesse number eight is his Jesse. But that, that day, he was six. He was six. He played... Defensively. Exactly. Because so, he could play anywhere. He could play anywhere. And he was ready to play anywhere he for play Nigeria. Anywhere. He was that fast. He was that sharp. His passes. I was watching his um, matches yesterday. He, the enthusiasm alone complements his um, uh, talent. So he just wanted to give it all for Nigeria. And he happened with that word. I mean, he gave it all up. And I mean, one feels so, so... I interviewed his mom. You know, I felt like crying. She was crying. He was, mm. She was saying some things, remembering him, talking about him uh, being uh, uh, Samuel. He said uh, he, he came home. And uh, needed to travel at night. He said, no, 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 don't travel. He said, don't worry, mom. You worry too much. Don't you know my name? My name is Samuel. Go into the Bible and read about what Samuel is. You know, things like the, the, the closeness between the heart, the plans he had for his family. Unfortunately, promises were made mm. on his barrier by the, by the representative of the federal government then that they were going to renovate their house, give them money, send all the students uh, who were still in school to school, give them jobs. It was, it was, it was never met, unfortunately. I mean, maybe if you have not made all those promises, maybe their hopes will not have been really lifted that much for them to really... But really, Tony, I want to say, for, listen, let's look at the positives. The positives are, we're talking National Assembly. 
five it points get, ago, it doesn't get talking, bigger. We are talking the NFL president calling the family. That alone tells you. I mean, best of okay, based on, on September 28th, uh, the wife is, is going to be. The wife is like, you know what? It's not about money. It's about naming something after best. His, his own, uh, his, his, his Delta status is his parents uh, and everything they have, mm. like... Set of origin. Set of origin. like, they didn't really play for us, but he grew up in Lagos, played all his life in Ibadan. The, the wife just wanted something named after him. He said, she said to me, uh, when I sp spoke to her, I went to interview her, she's like, the day they name anything tangible, you know, uh, in best, okay, the best name, all the hurt, all the loneliness, all the, 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 the everything that they are, she and the children are going through will just go off. They will be so happy with Nigeria and everything. Mm. Listen, what is has done? Our players are watching. Super Eagles players are watching. We've really criticized them so much. I've, I've done that a lot. But you see, with this Okaraji thing, with the Muda today, we start thinking, you know what? This is really interesting. With this Okaraji, they were, most of them were not born. They will be like, you know what? Look at the way everything. National Assembly, NFL president calling. I'm sure the other governmental organizations will, you know, key into it now. And let's say this for the Okaraji family. I'm sure Patrick will, will have called and told you. Some people are using the Okaraji Foundation to dupe people. You just can't mention names. And that's why they stopped all... The former senator, we don't want... We, can, we are not going to mention name. went to a bank, collected money. The bank said, when Patrick now, when the bank said, you know what, why we can't do anything for you now? It's because, listen, all we wanted, we know about Okaraji, but we are business. Or we could have just... All the money we left, if we had gone to your foundation truly, what we just wanted is a mention. People should know we want to do this. So anybody is going to do anything, please, the family is there. And the NFF is there now. The NFF is getting into the act. I'm loving this. I'm so happy. You know, I used to come here, go to every place, complain, complain, complain. But look at what happened with Mudalawa. Look at what happened with Sam Okaraji. I'm so, so happy tonight. Really. Okay, let me read a few comments on Twitter now because I can feel the mood of people right there on social media. Uh, it's buzzing. Asuni Adeshola says, I think the House of Rep has done well by asking the Nigerian Football Federation to immortalize Samuel Okaraji. Not just that. All those five points that they listed, I mean, it's, 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 it's heartwarming. It's encouraging if those things will see the light of day. Uh, Oyedi Jolua Shion says, um, encouraging gesture by the Nigerian Football Federation recognizing Samuel Oparaji's uh, death during today's Federation's Cup game. Thumbs up uh, to them. Babatunde Ishola says, Oparaji deserves to be immortalized because he died serving his fatherland. His family should be catered for. Um, Obasa Victor Abiodun says, Commemorating Oparaji every year should go with immortalizing this great soccer icon. God bless the family he left behind. Um, Austin Osanduku says, let the authorities continue to take care of the families financially. That will be his responsibility. Um, Olu Kotunolushe, he says, Oparaji will have been 51 this year. Uh, if there were more sophisticated medical instruments as at that time, the story probably could have been different. That's very true. Um, and there's somebody saying, where's the hometown of Samuel Okwaraji? Olu in Imo State. That's where Okwaraji is from. Uh, Kevin Amata, a good friend from Benin, is a pastor, says an international tournament in Samuel Okwaraji's honor will do well in immortalizing him. And uh, Toluwa Oyetayo says, um, thanks for bringing to mind what happened some 26 years ago. Uh, I tell you, nothing has been done uh, to honor this hero. All right, and uh, you can go on and on and on. It's buzzing on social media. I can't go through all of it because it's, I mean, so many tweets coming in. Uh, Opolua Semasa says, I'm so elated seeing Kaude Tijani on sports tonight um, and seeing your passion, uh, talking about uh, Samuel Okwaraji. And I think one of the lessons that we should learn is getting ready for emergencies, medical emergencies, all right? Uh, but then the story of Okwaraji is a lot different because of the kind of player that he was. Uh, his patriotism and everything that he did. Coming, flying down with, on his own bill, not asking for refunds, just wanting to play football. And on top of that, he was a doctor of law from the University of Rome. <laughs> Amazing. Exemplary. What a story. Exemplary. Exemplary. Antonio, we must mm. do something in memory of Fakaraji tonight now. Listen, um, the media in Nigeria, we, are, we, the media, we, we have to be very careful. Um, it was never proven medically that Okaraji was on drug was why he died. A lot of people banded that around, much like the Rashidi Yekini thing. It was insane and all. It was not true. I was close to him. He was very rich. He has houses in Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, he has houses in Spain and everything. First bank knows. I mean, all his money was there. He was that rich. But because he's um, almost like a recluse, he just... Rashidi Yekini... Kept over, himself. Over those period that he was playing, had too much fame. It was too much for mm. one person. Then he retired. He just wanted to be on his own. They said he was broke. 
Uh, the image that I called some guys and said, how much did uh, Rashidi give you last week? I went to Ibadan. He said, 100,000. He, he was giving charity. Mm. He went, Raymond King, he, once he even publicized, he said, they said he was broke. That he gave him money and told him, if you tell anybody I gave you money, because Raymond King was not easy for him then. Raymond King, Ramoni or Bada, mm. keeper. He said he told him, if you tell anybody that I gave you money, and I will come, never and come to, to again. And they come to disturb me for their own share. Not even that. He just mm. wants to. He's not somebody to who wants to. Yeah, mm. so they said he, he was driving himself from training to um, home every day and everything. I mean, mm. we have to be very let careful. Me, let, me, let me get back to Twitter again. GD at uh, H. Lim Chi says, 26 years ago, I stood at Bellevue Hotel in Oweri to bid the remains of Samuel Sotukuma Akwaraji by. I will never forget that day. Um, uh, Bolaniwa Abdul Hakim says, amazing. Okwaraji was uh, an MSC holder and he put Nigeria ahead of his personal responsibility. That was the kind of player that he was. Um, I saw, Chidi says, I saw men and women weeping like babies. That was 26 years ago, uh, including my parents, including his parents, uh, when the white station wagon, I mean, he's still describing this white station wagon carrying his body, uh, drove in and, and uh, Okwaraji was uh, uh, laid to rest. I mean, it's an interesting story. I remember my own little story to wrap it up. Uh, on the Sunday, because there was no social media. I didn't know about this until the Sunday, and I wanted to buy the dailies. Tribune, at that time, Tribune had a very rich sports page, sports content, and I just saw the front page of Tribune, Okwaraji dies for Nigeria. Hmm. That was the end of my day. Shocker. Terrible. Boy, I still have that feeling now for the terrible day. But you believed it immediately, you saw it. It was amazing. It was, it was, it was tragic. It was... It was, a, it was a sorrowful How day. How good was Sam? Mm. Sam was amazingly good. There's not, not enough time to name names. But Sam came in and benched most of our established midfielders. Patriotism. That was how good. And at that time, mm. I was following that team. You trust me, we had amazing players. The kind of play, This new team, our team now, I can't remember. Maybe, maybe a Yama, maybe. I can't know. I don't know which player can, can be one of the, No, I can't see any. That was how mm. strong and good. That team was. He came in. He was a super regular in almost every game he was playing. So you know what? I mean, this guy. This is what what has happened now has changed. Mm. This is a game changer for Nigerian football. Trust me on that. No longer will a player think if anything happens. So all all the NFF needs to do is to work on the insurance. Thing. I mean, they said they are. I mean, we asked them. They said they are on it. Just still mm. that once this player, it's not about the ten thousand dollars. It's not about the ten thousand dollars. Once you know your life is secure, even if, if anything happens to you. You can do anything for your country. Mm. All right. So once again, we wrap it up, this segment. And uh, of course, we've dedicated this to the memory of Samuel Okwaraji. And also uh, to uh, Niyi uh, Mosuro, uh, Shewu Tijani, Okore Agu, and some other fans who also lost their lives on August 12, 1989, 26 years ago.